broadly, Arlene, what did you make of Rishi Sunak's speech yesterday at the conference? Well, first of all, I'm glad to see that you guys got back from your school trip uh, yesterday and you made it safely home to uh, the studio today. Um, I think he, uh, I, I agree with Simon. I thought it was a well delivered for a man who's not naturally an orator. Um, I thought it was hugely interesting that he invoked the spirit of Margaret Thatcher on a number of occasions. He quoted Margaret Thatcher. He also made reference to the fact that she was a uh, a grocer's daughter. He was a pharmacist's son. He was trying to make those parallels with her. Uh, I'm wanting to go back to her as opposed to any of the other Conservative leaders since then, because, of course, he's essentially says we have said we've had 30 years of status quo. Uh, that includes, of course, uh, those Conservative leaders that have gone before him. Um, and, of course, uh, Tony Blair and Gordon Brown. So I thought that was hugely interesting, actually. Is he Margaret Thatcher? Do you see him in the same mode as the great radical Margaret Thatcher, Arlene? No, I don't see him <laughs> in that yeah, mould at all. Um, he tries to uh, appeal to that uh, for very obvious reasons, because she is still hugely popular with uh, many of the grassroots members. But you cannot say that uh, you're imbibing the spirit of Margaret Thatcher and then bringing out this um, um, phased progressive ban uh, on cigarettes because she simply mm -hmm. would never have brought that in. So how, what do you think emboldens him to make those sorts of decisions, which is in state overreach, in my opinion? How is, how is he able to do that in the way that Margaret Thatcher just would never have? I think he's saying, look, um, we have a, a, an issue here with health. We want to stop people uh, from uh, having cancer. Uh, we, we need to step forward uh, and it's in the public good. I think it's right that he has had a free vote on this in the Commons. It'll be very interesting mm. to see what happens in relation to that. I mean, none of us want to see our children smoking, none of us. Uh, but actually, in a bizarre way, I think this makes it quite attractive for young yeah. people. They'll be saying, oh, right, it's going to be banned. So yeah. uh, should we look at this uh, and is it something mm. we should try and I think that that is really really regressive. Yeah I agree absolutely. I also was a bit surprised if he wants to talk about public health and he said he, he built up to dinner we have a we have an emergency we have a health emergency. I thought he was going to say obesity actually and a lack of exercise. Didn't mention it. Didn't mention it. That that is actually the problem which is which is crippling the NHS largely. I thought there was that was a big omission from the speech. Did you Arlene? Yeah, well, he did try to cover a lot of areas in the speech yesterday. I thought that, that's actually the issue. It wasn't one big idea in the, in the fashion that Thatcher would have given mm. us uh, in some of her speeches. There were a number of different parts to his speech, uh, and he tried to cover a whole range of issues. Uh, tried to say that he was the radical choice as opposed to the status quo of Keir Starmer, which I think actually is quite interesting uh, and quite clever from his perspective, because Keir Starmer is very much an establishment man, um, comes from a legal background. I thought his point about all three of the Labour leaders coming from the same square mile in North London was quite clever as well. Mm. Um, so he was just, he was pointing out that these people all come from the same stable, whereas in the Conservative Party, and you cannot deny this, there is a whole range of people from different backgrounds, and you've just heard of Simon's son there joining the Conservative Party, a whole range of people from different backgrounds getting involved because they believe in aspiration yeah. and hope. And that's what okay. Thatcher was about, hope, aspiration. Yeah. That's what it was about.